Hello everyone, my name is Joe. This is my very first review for YouTube ever. I own a company called Complacency Kills Tactics here in Phoenix, Arizona. I'm going to be doing reviews for lots of tactical products, bags, holsters, slings, weapons, everything. I'm an NRA instructor. I'm also a NRA Chief Range Safety Officer. The bag I'm going to be reviewing today is the Hazard 4 Switchback. Retails for about $180, I believe. It's an amazing bag, great company, very well made. The fabric it's made out of is 500 denier nylon. It's weatherproof, very tough, very durable, still very light, not too stiff, very light. The company that makes the main fabric is called Cordura. I absolutely love it. On the back, some rib padding right here very well insulated grips the back very well netting on the back of the sling as you can see unlike most sling bags the sling is angled it doesn't go straight up and down I'm a very big guy and it's hard to find a comfortable sling bag this one doesn't choke me out and it sits very high up on my back as pull straps here on the side a padded pull strap on the top also one on the bottom here the sling has a locking me mechanism for the main buckle. I love that. Also, it has a lighter sling down here that goes around the waist across the chest and connects to this clip right here. That way, if I'm shooting or hiking, it's not going to fall over or fall in front of me, anything like that. Um, the bag is meant to whip around in front of you and access all of its pouches and areas without having to take it off. To do that, if you have this clipped in, you just unclip it swing it around and then it's going to end up like this on the front of your chest it's got an admin pouch here that's where I keep my Oakley's it has pals webbing or molly webbing all over it. it has retention straps on the side on the bottom and on the top to tighten down the bag as you see so fit what I like about this is that the pals webbing is angled differently on the front so when you do wrap it around to the front of you you can access pouches up here that are angled on the side instead of straight up and down. Here I have a pouch with great fabric inside to protect my screen for my smartphone. I also keep my wallet in there and important documents. I like this bag or I like this pouch a lot. So when you undo it, it has these two lanyards that don't allow the bag to open all the way. Um, right here is a heat sensing uh, screen protector, I guess you can call it. It's for uh, iPods or any kind of tablet. I love it. I didn't really need that here, so I keep my trauma kit up here in the front instead. Combat gauze, tourniquet, Israeli bandage. I got my chest seals in the back. has these elastic pals webbing right here. I put my trauma shears in here. has a pouch behind the trauma shears to accommodate my right in the rain notepad. Also another pouch with hook and loop Velcro. For my iPod, it's got an area for, I keep my saline solution in there, nasal airway passages, it's also got these three pockets, a large one for a larger sharpie marker, and then two individual pockets for a basic pen and pencil or small sharpie. Also behind the na nasal airway passage is another pocket for my gloves that I keep in there and another large pouch I just keep um, earplugs and spare money in that one just in case already have the retention straps undone I'll go ahead and open up the main compartment I apologize, I am doing all this with one hand, holding my phone. In the main compartment, you have a very big area. It's very deep, as you can see. I can put my whole hand through it. Hazard 4 sells these Velcro dividers that you can place anywhere around the bag right here. I just keep my first aid kit in there for cuts and scrapes if you're on the range or do anything crazy or you got kids running around all the time you're gonna find that you're gonna need a basic first aid 
I keep my first aid separate from my trauma kit so there's no confusion. I have my Kindle. This admin pouch fits it perfectly. Shout out to Dark Angel Medical. I'm going to be taking one of their training classes in October when it comes down to Tucson. This admin pouch right here can accommodate a tablet or a netbook. I just keep my Shamak in there. Um, I always leave my netbook at the tattoo shop so I don't need to be lugging it around with me unless I'm going to the range. Got my cocoon organizer, elastic straps, everything you basically need all the time. Up here it's got two netted pockets so you can see through them. I keep my chargers there for phone and iPod. The zippers are up here, great zippers. It's uh, separated by the stitching right here. Keep my vitamins, some Icy Hot, some hand sanitizer in there. Nothing too crazy. Again, I don't fill my bag all the way up. As you can see, it had plenty of room to fill it up if you needed it to be. But in the tactical community, ounces equal pounds and pounds equal pain, and I'm already a big guy. Let's flip this around. I'm going to show you the pocket where the bladder goes. Also, you can put a full-size laptop back here. It has very, very nice fabric and padding to keep the screens protected. Got my multi-wrap and some shooting gloves back here. A little hook and loop strap to hold on to your bladder as it gets more empty. Ooh, my rescue me. Everyone needs a rescue me. I'll be doing a review on that later. There you guys have it. Shout out to Monderno. Brandon always takes care of me over there. I appreciate your guys' help all the time. Um, as he knows, I pass out his cards all the way over here in Arizona in my tattoo shop. Hazard 4, Switchback. Great company, great bags. Won't fail you. Until next time, stay safe, stay ready.